pitch out. That could have been a deep just to convince Paris to waste the pitch. I think, well, well, he does that pretty much all the time. That's very soft around first base. They're all digging in there. Uh, what these managers do is pick a particular pitch, forget strategy. They, they're trying to think, well, what will he throw? If he throws a slow pitch, I'll run him. One and one. Hit foul down the left field line out of play. That was a most important pitch. Had it been ball two, then the Padres would have figured that would negate a pitch out, and you could bet Wiggins would be going two balls, one strike. But it's the other way around now. One ball and two strikes. Well, there's a lot of cat and mouse going on. Chances are 99, 100, that he's not going to be pitching out here, but maybe Lance says, hey, he's thinking that I will. If they're picking particular pitches. One and two. He goes, and it's fouled away. They're, the strategy, forget it. It's just uh, they're trying to think of what the other fellow's uh, going to do, and they act accordingly. Uh, one ball, two strikes, you figure he's going to waste the pitch. Pete went out after him. Quinn, of course, with two strikes, has to really take a hack at it. And Wiggins taking off a base hit. He'd have been in good shape. Interesting combination. You have a very fast runner. And remember, Gwen, the toughest man to strike out in the major leagues, although Wilcox struck him out in Milt's game. One and two. He goes. And it's chased and missed. The throw hits the runner, goes into center field, juggled by center field 11, and Wiggins is to third. But they got more out of that than they could certainly ask for. And they're looking for any kind of a break, and that could be it. And don't think the Tigers aren't thinking about it. It's a tough pitch for Perry to handle. Low inside curveball. He's screened by Wynn, who swings. The throw is a little bit to the second base side in the center field as it was sailing away. And Wiggins ends up at third. You'll see the throw kind of sail. Now Steve Garvey is asked to do what the Padres have been unable to do, get a lead. The infield halfway. High slider, ball one, one and oh. Roger Craig says Dan Petrie has the best slider in America. One ball, no strike. Dan has a California flavor to his background. He was born in Palo Alto. Little number, and the count one and one. There are situations that come up where pitchers have to do particular things just like hitters. And right now, the battle is for Garvey to get the ball in the air. Petrie's got to keep that ball on the ground or go for the strikeout. ERA, whatever you want to call it, the yardstick they use for pitchers is how good a pitcher is he with a man on third and less than two outs. Garvey has one RBI in his last 64 World Series at bats. And he hits it sharply to Whitaker. Wiggins to the plate. He is out at the plate. He never tagged it. He never tagged the plate. Watch it. Harris has got it blocked. He slides past the plate. He never tagged all plate. They're going to argue. And Harris knew it, so he went back to get him. Paul Rungi says the tag was high up on the leg. He never, ta he never tagged the plate. He never tagged him. And Rungi just said to Dick Williams and gestured to Dick Williams' left five. He didn't have to tag him again. Well, they may not have had to tag him according to Rungi, but according to Parrish, he knows he didn't tag him. You don't go after a guy if you tagged him. Right, and yet the plate umpire indicated he did tag him on the leg going by. One way or the other, Wiggins is out. Garvey has not had the chance to pick him up, and the Padres suffer a severe setback and right at the outset. Wiggins a race 4-2. Garvey standing at first on the fielder's choice, and Greg Nettles a batter. Nettles has not been hitting. Only two hits in the series. He's walked four times. Now ball, on one. Now Roger Craig is going out to talk to people. When Dan pitched the last time, we went into that long and rather heartwarming story about their father-son relationship. 
And we don't know, of course, depending upon the series and the future, whether this is going to be Rogers' last game or not. Well, he keeps slipping down. He was 90% sure in September, and now it's down to 70%. And then now, he, after the series, he's going to sit down and talk to his wife, and they're going to make a decision. I think what he was trying to do was to settle him down and use that baseball expression, stay within yourself. Don't try to overthrow it. If he tries to go fastball against Nettles, he may be in for some serious trouble. So Nettles up there with a the count 0-1, two out in the first inning. Wiggins out of the plate on the ground ball by Gardy. And Petrie is ready. Off speed for a strike. So if he was overthrowing, he came back with a great call, the off speed pitch, and in the strike zone. Well, we've been saying it all along, and it's no big secret. Nettles is a dead fastball hitter. Dead is right. He has 20 home runs during the regular year. Just show it to him now, but keep it a yard outside. Ball one. Al Evans is not holding the bag on Garvey. They don't expect him to do any running. The first wave of the day starts in center field and works its way towards the right field foul pole. He could have thrown that away. If that were a fastball, I don't think Harris could have gotten to it. But it was a high change, and Lance was able to catch up to it. He could have thrown that fastball there. I think Craig would have might have been out there again yeah. and released, waiting for him at the top step. Here's his pitching decision. He wants it to happen right here on two balls and two strikes. Little ground ball to Whitaker, and the Padres come up empty. Sliding Alan Wiggins, who never did touch home plate. Scoreless at the end of half an inch.